That's me right there in the red and white shoes. I had the chance of a lifetime to spend three weeks with a fight camp in Cincinnati, Ohio, learning the ins and outs of MMA. This is MMA the movie. MMA's first docu-comedy. Working and kicking your ass, yep. and you don't have the endurance to overcome that. Yep. You do? It, it really, really, really makes you, when you want to quit, not quit. And you've got that 60 second rest period. You've gone from being at a, your maximum, we'll say it's 180, 85, 90, right. hopefully back down to an aerobic level, oxygen flow, I got you. at 125, 130. That's yeah. what I'm looking for. I'm trying when to get back to normal. I wouldn't worry about anybody else. It's a pleasure, you know, you don't know how much it is to, to not have to babysit somebody, not have to stay on them, not have, you know, these guys are self-motivated. You don't have to do anything other than say, we're doing this, 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 and they do it, you know. They never say no, they never say I can't, they never say I want to stop, never. And I've been with Rich for about a year now. Since I started managing, I've, I think I've put like 25 or 26 guys into the UFC. I've had seven world champions, uh, you know, in the UFC. Uh, Rich Franklin being one of them, uh, Jens Polver being one, Pat Militich, Matt Hughes, a lot of the well-known guys. Uh, most of these guys I've seen develop since the beginning from their amateur career all the way through their, their early pro career and all the way into the UFC. Ready, go! We have a saying uh, th that we kind of live by and that we would rather fight a superb fighter in mediocre condition than a mediocre fighter in superb condition. Conditioning means everything. Uh, I just like the competition. I love to fight. So this is an opportunity for me to make some money while I'm doing it. You know, if, if, if fighting was still an underground sport and there was no money in it, I would be working a full-time job and fighting on the weekend still. So I mean, I just I, I do it because I want to. The fighters are getting better. The, there are more and more promotions popping up. but. If I could change anything right now, I think it would be a competition at the top. I'd, I'd like to see more than just the UFC out there. Uh, uh, it would help drive wages up a little bit for the fighters. There are some guys that, you know, they've trained, they've fought all the small shows, they've won all their fights, they finally make it to the UFC, and, and they're only going to make $2,000 if they lose. It's just not the kind of payday that, that I think these guys deserve. Of course, you know, it's a business. The UFC right now is, is a monopoly, so they're able to to do what they, they you know, for $2,000, there's a line of people that'll come and fight. I hate to defense most of the missions, somebody just completely busted ass. Those of you, I know, it's number. I remember, he farted. He is the number one. Oh, oh, oh. he's it over here. That's egg whites, man, that's egg whites. Oh, oh. 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 If everybody breathes in together, it goes away faster.